<laughs> the ice creams, they went flying. What a terrible day out. Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome to another Catch Alive mini movie. Today's story is called One Bunny in a Whole World of Wolves. This story has been made by Rosie and Maria. I'll have a link to their channel in the description. So do make sure to go over there and show some love. And also guys, this is just part one of the story. If you want me to react to the others, make sure to leave me a comment down below. Now, before we get into this gacha, I just want to tell you guys this crazy fact. Only 68% of people who watch my videos are subscribed to my channel. How crazy is that? Honestly, it blows my mind. So if that's one of you who isn't subscribed, do make sure to hit the subscribe button as it really helps me out and I'm trying to hit 3 million subscribers. I'm just gonna give you some time to do that. So yeah, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And I'll wait. Right, I hope you hit subscribe. Let's get into the gacha. Yay, finally, my favorite cartoon has begun. Oh, somebody's at the door. Don't worry, sweetie, I got this. Who's at the door, I wonder? Oh, an injured bunny. Oh my gosh, honey, what happened to your face? Dad? Dad, what happened to your face? Who did that to you? That doesn't matter. What matters now is, is that you both must run away for safety. What did you say? But why? Open the door now or else we'll- Honey, take our daughter and leave now. But what about you? Just take our daughter and leave. It's getting dangerous here. Oh my gosh, honestly? We are seconds into this gacha and it is already spicy. No idea what's going on, but I'm shook. Mommy, wait, daddy has to come too. Open the door, you idiot. Oh no, I'm ready now, mom. All right then, let's get out of here. Tell us where your family is now, or we'll have to check by ourselves. Oh no, they're coming for us. We must leave now. Okay, mommy. Jumping out of the window. Oh my goodness, that is dangerous. Let's search here in this room. Oh, I hope the mum gets out. She did. Just in the nick of time. Is that a window over there? They must have already run away. Don't worry, you'll not find them, even if you try to. What's wrong, lady police? Did you find them yet? You little. Okay, good. The mum and daughter managed to make it out and they didn't get captured. Are you okay, mom? You look scared. Don't worry, honey. I'm okay. Now, let's go. Oh, I feel so bad for the dad. Please don't tell me that it was daddy. I think it was. Mommy, it's not daddy, right? Oh no, that's so sad. One hour later, where have they ended up? Um, is everything okay, mommy? Yes, sweetheart, everything's okay. By the way, we've arrived at your aunt's house now. I wish daddy was with us too. Oh, she is hurting my heart. That poor girl. Let's go and knock on their door now. Okay, hopefully the auntie's okay. Oh, come on. You know I wouldn't tell anybody about you being a rabbit, honey. Of course you wouldn't, because I'm your wife after all. Dad, can you stop teasing mum, please? Well, I'm just joking with her, nothing more. Well, it seems like our son cares more about me than you do. Okay, enough comparing now, because you know I care about you more than anybody else. Oh, somebody's at the door. Weird, who could it be at this time? Don't worry, I'll go and see who it is. I have a bad feeling about this. What did you say? Mom? Honey, what happened? Why were you screaming, sweetheart? My brother! He was killed by the wolves! Oh no, that was her brother. It makes sense because she has black bunny ears and black hair, and her brother does. What did you say? A few hours later. Listen, I'll try really hard to find a job and pay for everything. Just please let my daughter live here for now. Of course, you're my brother's wife, so you're both allowed to live here. Thank you so much for that, Amelia. Oh, how sweet. I feel so bad for them though. They've lost a family member. Auntie Amelia is so nice. I love Auntie Amelia. Um, excuse me, but who are you? And what are you doing in my room? What, it's your cousin. How does he not know his cousin? Um, my name's Pika and I'm your cousin. And what about you? What's your name? Why do I even have to tell you? Because your mum said that we'd be living with you. Oh, he is not happy about that. So, you're a bunny, huh? Yes, I am. Please don't hurt me because of that. Whoa, calm down. I would never do that. Besides, my mum's a rabbit too, so it would be weird to hurt a rabbit like her. So, are we friends now? I mean, 
if you say so. All right then. What's your name, cousin? My name is Liam. Wow, such a perfect name for a perfect cousin like you. Oh, I love Pika. She is so sweet. Oh, they're gonna be like best friends. Sweetie, did you see where Liam and the little girl went? They're playing with each other outside. Oh, here they are. But where are they going? Who is that little girl with Liam? Who is he? That's what I wanna know. Okay, Liam has taken her to the park. Let's play hide and seek together now, Pika. Isn't it too early to play now? Why not? I mean, me and my mum just ran away yesterday. What if the police are still out here looking for us? That does make sense. The best place to be, is it? Out in public when she's being hunted. No need to worry, cousin. I'm here with you now, you know? Thank you so much, cousin. Oh, they're actually so sweet though. Wow, I can't believe that you've got a cousin, Liam. What do you want now, Tyler? Nothing, actually. I just came here to ask this little girl's name. I'm getting a bad vibe from this kid. Why don't you have ears or a tail? Are you even a wolf? Oh, you know I could ask you the same thing, little girl. Me? I'm actually hiding mine. Oh, really? Do you think I'd believe that? Just leave us alone, Tyler. You know, you're really annoying. Okay then, but I won't promise that I won't be coming back to know everything. Ooh, he is nosy. Are you okay, Pika? Did he bother you or something? Don't worry, cousin. I'm totally okay. You think you can lie to me that easily, huh? Ooh, I knew he was bad news. He just gave me some bad vibes, you know? Tyler, we're really sorry we're late again. How many times do I have to tell you to call me boss, not Tyler? Anyways, boss, what did you call us here for? See this pink-haired girl over there? I want to know what her specific is. And why do you want to know? Aren't you also just like her, hiding your real form? Ooh, what's his real form? I want to know. Now I'm being nosy. Yes, but I can confirm that I'm a wolf. Go on then. Show us then. Uh, he means he already believes what you said? Yeah, yeah, he's right. What if he is secretly a rabbit too? That's what I'm thinking. Here's Pika and her cousin. Ooh, the ice cream truck is here. Hey, Pika, do you want to eat an ice cream? Of course, Pika loves ice cream so much. All right then, can you hold on here for a few minutes? Sure, you can count on me, cousin. Oh no, is this a good idea, her being alone for a few minutes? My cousin Liam is so nice. He really is like a big brother to me. Uh-oh, see, this is why I didn't want her to be on her own. Because of these guys. So your name is Pika, huh, little doll? Why did he call her that though? That's weird. You, how do you even know my name? I never told you my name. Well, I don't know. Maybe because I heard Liam calling you that? You spy? How can you spy on what other people are saying? Calm down, little doll. I didn't spy on just anyone. I just said I heard it. Don't touch me, you weird man. You little, how dare you touch our boss, you idiot. Oh no, she is in some trouble now. Really, sorry, I didn't mean to, I just. Hey, it's fine, there's no need to cry. What are you doing to my cousin, you little idiots? Oh no, here comes cousin Liam and he is not happy. Cousin, he is getting the ice creams and he is not happy at all. He's like, let go of my cousin. Let's go from here, Pika. Oh no, the ice creams, they went flying. What a waste of ice cream, that's so sad. What's wrong? Where are they? Um, they already ran away. What a terrible day out. Where were you both for all of this time? Oh, we were only playing outside. We didn't mean to be late back. Lies, he lied. And now you're starting to learn how to lie to me, huh? Of course not, I'm just- Shut it, you're grounded, now go to your room. Yikes, it's real awkward. Uncle is mad. Cousin, please don't be sad. It's not your fault. So can you open the door now, please? Oh, I feel really bad for Pika. She's gone through a lot. And her cousin was just trying to help by taking her out to the park. That's enough, Pika. He won't listen to you even if you try. Oh, she's so cute. Really sorry, auntie. I was the one who made him get into trouble. Oh, come on, honey. Everything's okay now. So, it was a little bunny's fault, huh? I'm gonna talk to her mother. Oh no, I feel like the family is gonna get some more rifts happening. Pika, I'm back now, honey. Mummy, I missed you so much. Welcome back from your job, Isabel. Thank you so much, Amelia. So, when are you deciding to leave our house? Oh, wow. The uncle really just came out there, savage as ever. Honey? What are you saying? Well, if that's what you want, then I'm going to leave you to relax. Come on, Pika. Let's leave. Wait, I'm sure there must be some kind of misunderstanding. No, now Pika's mother doesn't feel welcome. See you later, auntie. You were a very nice auntie. No, Pika's breaking my heart. Come on, Pika. 
You must be kidding me, right? Liam? Oh no, Liam heard everything. I can't believe you, Dad. I really hate what you do. I know Liam is really sad right now, but... But look at the little goldfish next to the sofa. He's so happy. He's loving life. Also kind of random how the goldfish is just on the floor, but we move. Sweetie, please wait. Don't run away. Soon enough, you'll understand me, son. What are we gonna do now, Mum? We're going to find a new home for ourselves. And that's how my story went 15 years ago. Oh wow, are we gonna get a time skip? I feel like we are. Me and my parents were a very happy family together until my dad left us. Oh, but he didn't really leave. He kinda got killed. Dad! Dad! Oh, she was having a nightmare. Finally, you woke up. By the way, why were you screaming? Nothing, I just had a little nightmare. It's okay, Pika. Let's forget about this and let's go eat some breakfast. Okay, mum, let me just go wash my face first. All right then, I'm gonna wait for you, sweetheart. I can't believe that I'm already going to college. Wow, so she has aged up. She's a lot older now and she's starting college. And I'm also going to a college that is full of wolves. Oh dear. Hopefully they don't discover that she's a rabbit. I really hope everything can be just fine in college. Well, at least they have a home now, so that's a positive. Oh, hey there, sweetie. Are you ready to go now? Um, yeah, I think I'm ready now. What about your ears and your tail? Shouldn't you hide them? I know, but in college, we're not allowed to wear any hats or any hoodies. That's why I've got you this green liquid. You drink it before you go anywhere. Ooh, mum with the secret potion. Here, drink this liquid, my dear. What if it's dangerous? Just drink it already, Pika. Okay, this should work. Should hide her ears and her fluffy tail. Oh, it worked. That was really fast. See, now because of the liquid, your ears and your tail have now been hidden. That's right, my ears and tail are completely hidden. Thank you so much for helping me, Mum. Mum, I'm gonna be late. Sorry for the delay, sweetheart. I'm coming now. Okay, Mum has packed some extra liquid into her bag, so if she ever needs it, it's right there and she can disguise herself. All right, honey, now you're fully ready to go. When your ears and tail are about to be shown, you have to drink another bottle. All right, Mum, I understand now. Thank you so much. God bless you, my dear daughter. Oh wow, there's bears at this school? How exciting, there's so many different breeds. Hey, shouldn't my school be right here? Don't tell me that I've been walking the wrong way. Okay, she's got out the map. Wait a second, it's not even wrong. I just need to walk straight a little bit more and then I'll be able to find my college. I'm such a genius. Has she found it yet? Oh dear, she's crashed into somebody. Um, hey, I'm really sorry for bumping into you. Jeez, calm down, buddy. What's with the look on your face? Wait, I recognize this guy. It's the kid from earlier. Why does this girl look so familiar to me? Come on, are you gonna keep ignoring me? Why don't you answer my question already, huh? You didn't even ask me a question. Yeah, right, I didn't ask him a question yet. Anyway, I was gonna ask you if you were okay or not. Um, yeah, I'm okay, no need to worry. Wait, it's cousin Liam. Oh my gosh, Pika? Aw, they've been reunited. And Liam just completely pushed that other guy out of the way. Finally, I found you, Pika, I really missed you. I'm sorry, but do I know you? Come on, Pika, don't you remember me? I'm your cousin. Wait. Is that you, Liam? You silly. Where were you all of this time? I really missed you. I'm really sorry. I didn't know where you were. Whoa, man. Do you need help? No, that little guy. He'll pay for this no matter what. Oh, he's really entering his villain era. Tyler. They are like arch nemesis, right? Tyler and Liam, they hate each other. Wait, are you also going to study at this college? You mean I am studying in this college? Wait, so we're actually at the same college? Wait, you're also going to this college? Uh, how many times do they have to ask each other, seriously? Yes, and I'm really happy to have you beside me. By the way, Pika, where did your ears and your tail go? Did you hide them with something? Uh, yeah, how about we talk about this inside? Why is there a guy just standing outside of college crying? Is he okay? And also, I thought Pika said they weren't allowed to wear hats at college. She's literally wearing a hat. All right, well, they're going in. Behind them is Tyler. Wait, is she also going to this college? I mean, she's always gonna hang out with Liam. So what? Come on, Pika, just tell me, how did you hide your rabbit ears and your tail? Well, I just drank a liquid that helps me to hide my real form. What liquid? Why would you wanna know that, huh? Do you wanna try it or something? No, 
of course not. I was just wondering what the liquid was. Um, excuse me, pink haired girl, but are you the new student, Pika? Um, yeah, it's me. Why? Is that something wrong? No, it's just that the principal told me to give you a tour since you're the new girl here at this college. And how can we trust that you won't hurt her or anything? Wow, he is so overprotective. This poor person is trying to give Pika a tour and he's like, How do I know that you won't murder her? Bro, I don't even know this girl, so why would I even hurt her? All right then, let's go. Follow me then, Pika. This is the hallway, the library, the garden, the bathroom, and the last thing is the rooftop. Wow, the rooftop really looks so satisfying to rest in. I know, right? Everybody said the same thing to me before. But I don't suggest that you come here too often. Huh? But why not? Most likely, the college bullies always hang out here. Oh no, there they are, the bullies. And in the group of bullies is, of course, Isla. What are you talking about behind us, huh, Andy? Are you warning the new student about us? Wait, it's the pink-haired girl. You guys stay here. I'll go and deal with them. I'm really sorry to be talking bad about you. It's fine. Just leave now, please. Let's go now, Pika. I never told you to take the girl with you. Oh gosh. Why is he so intimidating? Hey, who do you think you are to force her to leave me? Hey, don't get any closer. Hey, Pika. Do you remember who I am? Oh, she's remembering now it's a little boy from earlier in the story. You're the same kid from the past. Yes, but which kid exactly? T Tyler? So, you actually do remember me. Why does he look so creepy? Wow, you've really changed now. You're not bullying me like you did before. See, I really changed just for you. By the way, do you forgive me now? Just because you changed, that doesn't mean that I'll forgive you so fast, you dummy. You know, I could always force you to forgive me. How can you force someone to forgive you? That doesn't make any sense. Oh no. And Liam has just entered the rooftop. This little... Oh, he's mad. Yeah, right. I'd really like to see you force me to forgive you. Anyways, I'll find other ways for you to forgive me. How dare you touch Pika, you little idiot. Why did you do that to him, Liam? He didn't do anything wrong. Because he deserves it, Pika. But he didn't even do anything to me. Oh, I actually feel really bad for him now. Poor Tyler has had to go to the nurse. We're done here now. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to call me again. Whatever. Wow, why is he savage to the nurse? I was feeling bad for him, but he's being rude. Boss, are you okay? I can hear Pika's voice. Ugh, it's that stupid guy again. I'm really sorry, Pika. I just thought that he was trying to hurt you again. Oh no, her ears, they've come out. Great, now I have to drink that disgusting tasting liquid. What's wrong with you, Pika? I must drink this green liquid to hide my rabbit form again. Oh, she's drinking it, but... But what she doesn't know is Tyler is listening through the door. Like some kind of creep. At least her tail has now been hid and her ears too. It's all hidden now, Pika. I know, but why does the liquid have to taste so bad? He is shook. He cannot believe what he's just listened in on. Wait, so Pika is actually a rabbit this whole time? The next day. All right, Tyler's in class. He's thinking real hard about how Pika has lied and she's actually a rabbit. All right, students, please listen up to me here. So there's a student here who went to the restroom and he says that he found some fluff in the restroom. He thinks that it belongs to a rabbit. Yes, after checking it out, it really does belong to a rabbit. So please, everybody, if you see a rabbit, just report it to us. Oh no, a secret rabbit? But who could it be? Yikes, that's awkward. Pika, please calm down. Nobody knows about you being a rabbit. Do you think I'm still safe then? Mm-hmm. Oh, the phone is ringing, but who is it? Um, hey Pika, could you give me a few seconds? I have an important call to take. Sure, take your time, cousin. Hello, father. Oh, hello there, my dear son. How's it going? What is it? What do you want to talk about, dad? I was only asking, how's it going with your childhood friend, Pika? What? But how do you know? No more questions, son. Come home immediately. Now! Oh, his dad just put the phone down. What is going on? How did his dad know that Pika was at school? Tyler, once again, listening in. What is he up to? The dad is looking like a mafia boss right now, and I'm scared. I'm glad that you came home so early, son. Are you telling me that they know that there was a rabbit in the college? Yeah, but I swear that nobody knows who the rabbit is, mum. 
Ugh, just go to your room, please. I'm really not in a good mood now. Oh, poor Pika, it's not her fault. Let me just take a cold bath to calm myself down. Yeah, this must be a lot to deal with because she is about to get rumbled. Or at least she feels like it. Great, now this is gonna take a really long time to dry my hair. Oh, the phone's ringing. But who is it? Wait, is that Liam's phone number? But I can't remember giving him my phone number. Um, hello? Oh, hey there, Pika. How you doing? Not really great. I'm a little depressed after what happened in college. Really? How about we hang out somewhere then? To get away from the depression that you're going through. Ooh, he's wording this really strange. I feel like he's up to something. And I don't feel like it's his fault. It's probably his dad. After all, I have nothing else to do, so... Okay then, I'm gonna go get ready. Yeah, something does not feel right about this. Where are you going, Pika? I'm gonna go to hang out with a friend of mine, Mum. Is he an honest and trustful friend? Yes, he is, Mum. He's even more than just honest. He's also... Her cousin. Finally, my mum let me hang out without asking a load of questions. Oh, hey there, Pika. Finally, you're ready. Liam, how do you know where I live? Well, I just happened to see you going this way on your way home. Oh, okay. Let's go then. That's very suspicious, isn't it? So they are really hanging out. Are you done, Pika? Yeah, thank you so much, Liam. I really had so much fun with you today. No problem. By the way, there's just one more thing that I want to show you. Would you come with me? Oh no, this is not good. All along, I thought Liam was a good guy, but I feel like he's gonna do something bad. Ja, why not? Why is she blindfolded? What's going on? Are we here yet, Liam? Almost there. Just keep on walking until I say stop. Okay. Where is she? Okay, you can open your eyes now, Pika. Hey there, little rabbit. Liam, what's going on? And who are these two people? I'm really sorry for that, Pika. <gasps> He has betrayed her, and I thought Tyler was a bad guy all along. I was wrong. Come on, Liam, you must be kidding me, right? Please tell me this is a joke, Liam. I don't want to be here, please. What's Tyler doing? This little backstabber. He's just jumped down from the ceiling. Oh, Liam does feel bad about betraying his cousin. Dad, I'm so proud of you, son. You really did what I told you to do. Not like he had a choice, really. His father is so evil. Yeah, even though I'm regretting everything I've done right now. Like, please, Dad, can we just stop this thing and live peacefully with the rabbits? Whoa, what was that sound? Glass breaking. Pika? Son, wait, don't go in there. Pika? What happened? Tyler? Are you a... Is he a vampire? What? I was not expecting that. So guys, as I said, there are more parts to this. If you want me to react, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see another video from me, make sure to click on one of these that I've selected for you and let's go watch it together.